So today is a very odd day in September in Texas. It's like the high is like 85. So I figured today let's work on the Cadillac since it's outside. So here's the new spindle. Here's the old one. So we're going to go ahead and take this one apart today. So should be fun. Hopefully it'll go fairly quickly and then we can also put the new brake hardware that we have for the, the front brakes on as well. So let's get started. Did you see how that wobbles? It means the kingpin that's in there, probably not that good a shape. Uh, we got to remember the ones with the, ooh, the spacers right there on the outside. Top ones have spacers on the outside. The bottom ones have spacers on the inside. And the top bolts have no hole for the bottom one. One thing I decided needed to be done was these AR bumpers. Here's the old one, and here's the new one. So where, where these go is they go underneath 
this right here and they bump it so this doesn't hit the frame. As you can tell, it definitely needed to be replaced. And I didn't realize that until I got it all apart and I was like, dang it, so there's those. So let's put those in. Alright, I got the bushing in. And as you can tell, it definitely makes a difference. The old arm, it was pretty much touching the frame. So, I like that a lot better. When I go over bumps, it won't go boom on me. But let me go ahead and show you these wheel, wheel cylinders. So I ended up rebuilding them. The reason being is because these new ones, they're $55 each. And I was like, okay, $200 for wheel cylinders or five bucks a piece to rebuild them. So it probably took like three hours to do, but I uh, definitely got them done. So let's go ahead and put them in. All right, bearings are greased up. The drum is on, the, the shoes are adjusted. And there it is. So an interesting thing about these Cadillacs that most don't know is you see this L? These are left-handed threads. So watch this. You turn it this direction and it goes on, which is opposite. In the 50s, I guess they figured, hey, we need to make these threads opposite. The thread inside of here for the wheel bearings is also opposite, so figure just something to know before you buy one of these and try to get the lug nuts off the wrong way and break some wheel stuff. So, done. Pushing. Moved. The only thing I really need to do is. Same thing as the other side. 